What's up, everybody? It's the best in the world podcast. Got my guy Brandon with me. I am Dale. What's going on with you, man? What's happening? Yo, it's WrestleMania week. I'm excited. I couldn't wait to talk about wrestling with you, man. So, yeah. <laughs> Are you excited about this week, too, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I am, man. I'm ready to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, man. I am. Um, quick, quick thoughts on The Miz uh, being the host of WrestleMania. I think it's fitting. <laughs> I mean, it's fitting. I mean, who, yeah. who else are who else they really going to get? You know, I think it's a good spot for him because... Um, he can talk and mm -hmm. I mean, it's Hollywood. So he, Absolutely. he's got that built in, you know, uh, thing he can do with that man. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's perfect. He's a perfect role for him. Yep. Yep. For sure, man. Um, I'm really hoping, uh, to see some funny stuff that they kind of work behind the scenes. Some, you know, some, some video packages with with them that are pretty funny i'm hoping for um oh yeah like the wrestlemania 21 stuff right right yeah yeah and and definitely hoping to see a lot of maurice too because um, <laughs> maurice on tv is always a good thing yeah <laughs> yeah I, I mean yeah she should be there i mean you know i, I think i mean she, she's been in the wrestling business and yeah i think she'll probably be there yeah that'd be fun <laughs> like maurice Maurice will uh, definitely pop the ratings, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right, man. <laughs> so let's let's start looking at this card, bro, because right. you know, WrestleMania is two nights. Um, it, it's going to be going to be pretty good. We don't know who's going to main event each night, everything like that yet, but we do have some things that are are announced, and you know, some things we just know coming. You know, so right. Let's let's start looking at that. First thing on the board is Rey Mysterio versus Dom Mysterio. Um, yeah. Now I know, like weeks ago, Aaron was talking about Mysterio, or, or I'm talking about Dominic Mysterio, saying yeah. he needs to go to NXT, everything like that. But I think the kid has really grown into his own. These you know, past few months is, is since joining the Judgment Day. Right. And yeah. I mean, he's really, he's really good. I, I like what he's yeah. doing. The, the the stuff he's doing off camera, off, off, behind the scenes with, with Ray, with the uh, different holidays and mommy. And <laughs> it, it's so entertaining, bro. Like, yeah. you, you, you got us all when you start doing some things away from the ring. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that I was not expecting this from Dominic, like this whole shift uh, yeah. to work the way that it did. And it's it's so funny and good. I mean, I'm happy for him, man. I wanted him. I wanted something to work for him. And I think right. this is a great role, man. He really does well in it. And it, the ex-con Dom situation. Yes. Is just it's so, hilarious, bro. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> It's hilarious, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's funny, and I, I think that you know having a feud with his dad, I think that really does give him a reason for people to care because he needed a good feud. Yeah, he needed something to help him out. Um, the Judgment Day definitely helped him out with getting the heel character over, which it has so far has been well received. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah man I'm, I'm with it so <laughs> i'm with it for sure man um dom dom is doing good work um i think everybody in the judgment day has been like uh really elevated on this thing man so yeah they they definitely saved it from when edge had to leave it and that whole you know where it changed i guess some plans didn't work out and right. edge had left it and everything they really did save it with what they got going on now they yep. really I guess my only gripe would be I wish since they waited so long to actually make the match match official. Yeah. Let's just wait to um the Hall of Fame night when Ray comes out to get his award and Dom messes the whole thing up 
and that's the thing that pushes Ray over the edge to I want him to actually that. fight Dom. Like that's that's what we should have did. Triple H. I I thought about that, but I feel like they probably just wanted to be like you know non storyline driven, mm. like that kind of thing. But that that right there, I feel like would have gotten him nuclear heat. Yes, it yes. would have got him <laughs> so much heat. Yes. If he got up from the yeah and just ruined the whole thing and yeah. was like, I'm not gonna let these people sit here and act like you're somebody. Oh man, what booze he would have got. It would have been fantastic, but I don't think they're ready to commit to that. Cause that's a that's a high risk during a Hall of Fame speech to make it a storyline. I mean that's hardcore, but it would have been great. Like I think he could have I think he could have did it. Yeah. But I don't think he wanted to I bet if I had my, I bet they probably pitched something like that. And he was like, I don't want to mess up my dad's night. Like, <laughs> you know, I know you only get one. You only, you yeah. Know, all speech and everything I like want that, it to but... just go well and just, now what they could do, well, I don't know if you really want to do this too, but they could do where Dom is banned. Like Judgment Day can't be there. Yeah. So there's, they do side stuff on Instagram where they're outside trying to get in, security won't let them in. Yeah, I like that. That would be pretty cool where they could do that. But yeah, I think he just doesn't want the Hall of Fame speech to be ruined by storyline because, you know, really this is preserved for people when they look back and they want a speech. You know what I mean? I don't think they want to see that because they're going to be like, you know, like, I mean, it's funny and <laughs> it's great for the storyline, but in 20 years, when, right. you know, you want to show your grandkids who Ray Mysterio was and it's, you know, it's kind of that thing. Yep. So I think they, they don't want to do that, but it would be great though. Oh man, for the nuclear heat moment. Yeah. Oh, perfection. Amazing. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go to this tag team matches, uh, tag team kind of showcase where we got okay. four different tag teams, the Viking Raiders, Street Profits. Um, the Alpha Academy and Braun Strowman and Ricochet together. Okay. So there are no major implications for the match. I'm assuming the winner is probably going to end up taking on whoever has the tag team titles at the end. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? But, right. you know, this this is just a match to get people on the show, I think. Right. Yeah, it's, it's really so. no big story for this. So yeah, I mean it's a fatal four way tag team championship match there. Um, you know, I mean I'm I'm not even sure. You know, I I think Gable and um, Otis was they're about to break up though, right? I believe so. Yeah, a- Otis is going to do the maximum thing, which yeah. I think I think he would be great at because that yeah. he's comedy, and I think they're probably going to finally give J- Gable a real chance to be like a singles competitor and give him like a, 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 a real start on that. I, I did hear rumors about him actually getting a little bit of a push. So it, it makes yeah, sense to so. just break off of, you know, Alpha Academy and do something different. So, right. Um, it, it'd be nice to see, because he's never really gotten anything by himself. You no, know? no. Maybe, maybe the shorty G thing, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, that was I don't know, man. That was that felt like more like a punishment than. Like, <laughs> I mean, you're talking about an Olympian, an Olympian. Yeah, right. I mean, just a crazy <laughs> athlete. Why? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're I right. mean, dude is fantastic. You know, it just that was just so disappointing. But hopefully, you know, they'll get him back on the right track now. Yeah. Uh, the next match is another one of these showcase kind of deals. Uh, Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey versus Natalia Shotzi, um, Liv Morgan, and what is what is her name? Oh, right, Raquel. I'm sorry, Raquel, Raquel Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ra- Raquel Rodriguez. Sorry, they changed it. I think it used to be Ra- Raquel Gonzalez right. in NXT. And then. Um, a tag team to be named probably on SmackDown and it really doesn't matter. It's, <laughs> it's, I don't think, I don't think anything's really going to come from this except for Shayna and Ronda, you know, being dominant and getting into the women's 
tag team picture like that's what i see coming from this oh yeah yeah that's true because i think that that's what they wanted to do i feel like also what they could do with this as well aside from that ronda and um and uh shana will probably win the match i think but i feel like it should be a very good showing for raquel rodriguez and um live more i think live morgan's a tag partner i believe yeah, I think it should be a a good showcasing for Raquel mainly because they they have something with her if they don't mess it up, mm-hmm. and they need other women stars to you know change in and out right because it can't just be the same five people right right that's just in there and they need somebody and she was a prospect in NXT and is still a prospect on the main roster. Uh, I think she did really well in the Royal Rumble, I believe. I mean, they, they got to do something with her. They just, you know, before, you know, the window roll, you know, gets out of the way. Like, I think they should showcase her and, and do something with her as a single. I don't think it should be tag team. Mm-hmm. I really think she needs to be a singles competitor. After WrestleMania, okay. they should do some some kind of story with her and get her in the title picture. You know what? I think that other tag team has been named. I, I believe it's um, your girl, the Karen whatever oh it's chelsea green chelsea green yeah, yeah. Chelsea green and uh and who it was his uh was it zelina who was who was no it was not zelina oh, that's not it, right um chelsea MMA, and me mma girl uh oh with, uh, uh, uh i know oh my god <laughs> both of us can't think of my name i can't either <laughs> it's Son- sonia sonia deville there we sonia go DeVille. oh my goodness <laughs> My goodness, Sonya Deville, yeah, and Kelsey Green. There you go. There we it's go. It's the live button, bro. You hit the live yeah. button. You can't remember nothing, you know. <laughs> that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, so yeah I, I believe they are the next tag team that's going to be put into their um, into this little showcase match. So, yeah, um, she's always fun. Like, I'm, I'm surprised they actually let them in a match, but. <laughs> So maybe Sonya decided that, you know, she wanted to kind of wrestle again instead of being in like a right like the manager, manager role. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. What wait, was she injured or anything or she just transitioned into the management role? Yeah, I, I think they just transitioned her into the management role because they didn't have anything for her. And okay. they kept on TV that way. So yeah. And they man, it's so strange because if I remember right, when she was in NXT, you know, years ago. It looked like she had some momentum behind her matches, right? Because she was doing those squash matches, I believe. Yeah. And it looked like they were going to do something before the whole Mandy Rose and going to the main roster. They they had her doing those, like, thing. I think she was in the first Mae Young Classic, right? Was that her? Um, yeah, I, I believe she was in the Mae Young Classic. Yeah, like, but, I mean, you had a lot of people in the Mae Young Classic, though. Like, you, you know, what, Bianca was in that thing? Um, yeah, Bianca. And then uh, Shayna definitely was. I remember that. Right. When yeah. she caught uh, Candice LeRae in midair in that uh, clutch, mm-hmm. I'll never forget that. That was mm-hmm. wild, man. She came off the top rope and caught her in that in that uh, rear naked choke. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she she had like this. They were giving her the monster push thing, kind of you know, where she would just face people and defeat them, and then all of a sudden they just kind of dropped down, and they really didn't say why. I mean, it wasn't like she was doing terrible. Right. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was really weird. Yep, but it's good they're getting her back on TV now, and yeah, um, I, I like the dynamic between her and uh, and Chelsea Green. I don't know what happened with Carmella because Carmella was with Chelsea Green at, at first, but oh yeah, I don't know yeah. if it's an injury or something, but right, I, I think it'd be like a late switch. No, something happened. Something happened with her because it was on social media, and I think she's just kind of you know recovering from what I, I can't even remember what it was. Something happened okay. though. Okay. Um, I can't Makes remember. Sense. Yeah. All right. All right. This next match should be a banger, and that is Gunther defending the IC title versus Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. Uh, we've already saw uh, Sheamus and Gunther go at it, and that was awesome. So you had another big dude like Drew McIntyre. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a hard hitting fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I feel like um, Sheamus has got to win this one, man. Oh. He got to get his, he's got to get his Grand Slam moment okay. at 
WrestleMania. Okay. It's the one title that's eluded him. And I feel like that would be a good, you know, and, and it would be, you know, you know, Gunther won at, um, what was the match that was in Wales? Uh, Clash of Castle. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. They had that match and that was cool. And then they had another one. Um, and those are really good. But I feel like he needs to get this win because everybody's been IC champ but him. And I mean, you know, Sheamus probably isn't going to do this for another decade or so. He might yeah, as well he's do been it doing it for a while, man. Yeah, and he's had injuries. They need to just, you know, let him get his moment, WrestleMania moment now, um, before, you know, he just decides that, you know, I want to do something else. Um, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I think that would be better for the feud because I'm sure him and Drew are going to have a feud after this again. So, okay. you know, I feel like, and also Walter, I absolutely believe that Walter this year, I know people want him to have that longest running intercontinental championship, like reign the days and stuff. Right. But I feel like um, after mania, he's probably going to be more in line with the world title at this point. Right. Especially Ooh. how they, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Cause they have to have somebody fresh, new, and it's a main event guy. And they built Walter up in the Royal rumble, like a destroyer. Mm-hmm. Like if you go back, I mean, just, He's gotta he's gotta be in a title picture this year. This has to be the year of Walter, man. It's the year of Cody, but I'm just saying, like, as far as him ascending from mid card undefeated monster heel, he's gotta be in the championship picture now. And by twenty twenty four, he's probably gonna be champion, if not later this year. So Okay. Yeah. Um I'm probably gonna uh stick with, with Gunther retaining the IC title. Um Okay. I just see this as something to boost him forward. Um, that, yeah, you know, that could be something. Yeah, the, the same thing like like Sheamus did at Clash. I mean, it was it was one of those kind of big ones um, with them. So I believe this this is going to really push him even further. Just like you said, to that main event kind yeah. of spot. Um, now I don't know how they end up transition transitioning the IC title eventually, but. I see that happen a little bit later down the line just because I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I believe they're going to transition that title to, to Cody, the main one. And he's going to run yeah. with that for a while. And so you need another big guy for him to feud with. And Gunther, I think, is going to be made to that guy. Yeah. To be the perfect feud for him. So, yeah. Yeah. He's the, he would be the fresh new main event guy that you can have in a feud where people won't be just like, ah, it's another, you know, this feud. Yeah, it's not that. This is something different. And I believe that they purposely built Walter in the Royal Rumble as a destroyer for the fact that they've got big plans for him. Yep. Now, um, yeah, I, I feel like also, and this is just me thinking about the booking for Walter. Like, let's say we, you know, what you were talking about, he keeps he, he retains that mania, he keeps the title, and let's say that they either do him dropping the IC belt at SummerSlam or Survivor Series to get him basically in line for Royal Rumble 2024 and WrestleMania, right? Because I mean, who else are you gonna have win the Rumble? He's one of the young, fresh guys that's not gonna be a legend or you know what I'm saying that could mm-hmm. win the Rumble. And I feel like they built him up to do that. Um, he could lose it in a triple threat and not get pinned so it doesn't kill the momentum. That's what I would do. Okay. Like yeah. whenever he drops the title, it needs to be a triple threat and he doesn't he doesn't take the pin. Right. So you're you're worried about uh preserving him being uh undefeated, undefeated that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think he needs to keep that momentum because it, it wouldn't make any sense for him to drop it clean to go on the way up to mm-hmm. mania as a heel right right as a monster heel it wouldn't make any sense yeah so you yeah. know that's why when i was talking about the feud with uh at mania like if he if he dropped the title at mania sheamus walked out got the grand slam moment at wrestlemania then sheamus would pin drew he wouldn't okay. pin walter that way that's what i'm saying like he would keep the momentum and have a fresh opponent for cody so, gotcha. you know, for SummerSlam or something. Okay. All right. Next match is Edge versus Finn Balor. 
Now, this is going to be demon Finn Balor, so he's going to be all dressed up and got the paint on and everything. Yeah. I'm hearing rumors um, because Edge was talking about this whole, uh, you're going to meet the devil and all this stuff in Hell in the Cell. I'm thinking he's going to end up coming out to the gang girl music again, and maybe we get an appearance from That's gang what I was girl hearing. in the WWE yeah. universe. We had we got in the AEW, but we did not get it in WWE. So I yeah, this is not what's going to happen now. I I've heard those rumors too that Gangrel was going to make an appearance. Mm-hmm. Oh man, how sweet would it be if WWE for one night could get Christian back? Yeah. And they do the full brood. Yes. Just do the entrance. It would be a <laughs> monster pop yes. for them. Just do the entrance. <laughs> you gotta do you have to have all three. And <laughs> it would be yeah, that would be pretty that would be pretty interesting. I mean it, it should be something that you can call up Tony Khan like yo Tony. Look, we need let me show. let me borrow Christian for a show. All right, this is what he's gonna do. I'll give you one of my guys for a show. There you go. It's a trade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one I, show, I, one show. Done. I mean, <laughs> why not? You know, I mean, why not? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Easy. Yeah. He should he should <laughs> do that. Just just for the sheer factor of nostalgia and pop, because those people would be out of their seats if Christian was there for that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get that pop, man? And, oh yeah. yeah, I'm popping, man. I at, would pop at WrestleMania. We want the pops, dang on That's it. Right. We want the pops. <laughs> yeah, I I would I would pop for that. I would have been like, man, I never thought I would see this again. Like, yep. <clears throat> so what what do you think? Um, for this match because I, I think I think Justice. I'm sorry, um, <laughs> Ballard. Oh, Justice League. Yeah. <laughs> The Judgment Day yeah. has really elevated Balor um, as a, as a contender. Because look at it, man. He's got a, a WrestleMania match, a singles WrestleMania match. Yeah. Like, what what else can you ask for? Um, I, I'm pretty sure last year this time, he was not even uh, really in a card in a singles match. So. No, I think um, his last one I remember. Now I could be wrong. Was WrestleMania 35 with Bobby Lashley for the IC title? Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what he did for 21 or 20. I don't remember what his matches were. But I do remember he did have a, uh, the match at 35 for the IC title. I think he won it. I mm-hmm. believe. And so, I mean, yeah, man, it's it's against Edge. And, I mean, this is his last year to wrestle. Um, it's a big match. And, you know. So Ballard, is that confirmed? Yeah, uh, Edge said it himself that this was going to be his last year. He's going to retire like late. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, he wanted to. He said he was going to do that. So that's why people have really been um, kind of concerned about the fact of how long the Judgment Day feud has went. Yeah. Because they kind of wanted other matches too. But I feel like this one would be good. I feel like Finn Balor needs to win this match against Edge. I really do. I feel like. Well, he needs- for sure, if if he's on the way out, then that's what's he gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he really does. I feel like that would be good for Balor, so he can finally get some like momentum back that he had when he first joined the main roster. Yeah, up until that untimely injury, like I, I really feel like he didn't really get a fair shake after that. He just never really recovered, and I feel like this is the first time that he's ever been in a spot where. Um, he can kind of give back some of that. And so it's just, it's a different gimmick, but, yeah, you know, as far as being elevated, I think Edge could do it at uh, WrestleMania. I don't, I don't know if I really believe this is going to be Edge's last match just because. No, it, it's good. last year, not his okay. last match. Okay. No, All right. <laughs> he's going to, no, he, he was saying that he's done after this year. I got not, you. Not, not WrestleMania match though. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Cause yeah, he, he looks good. And yeah. still, man, when when wrestlers can move and, and they, they still look okay. They still work. They they're gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> and and when they when they don't look good and they're not okay, they're still working. They're probably still gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> and so someone says no. Yeah. No. <laughs> Somebody has to not cut the check for them not yeah. to work. <laughs> like, no, so, man, we're not doing that. 
Right. <laughs> okay. Well, let's look at our next batch here. And that is Omos versus Brock Lesnar. I was surprised that this was a match that was made. Same. Um, but I think it could do a lot for Omos because this is a spectacle. You got two big old dudes in there. Like this, this is the circus in town. You want to see what's going to happen. You make Brock look regular size. Like, yeah. That dude is huge. Oh, yeah. my God. Um, yeah, even even Brock on that clip where he was just like, it's a big dude. Like, you know, it was really, he saw, he sold for Omos with that one. He was just like, yeah. oh, that's a big guy. Exactly. And, um, I, yeah, I feel like this is probably one of the biggest matches that Omos can have, especially with his, uh, you know, career thus far. Like, this is the biggest match that he's done had. And, you know, if Lesnar... You know, put obviously he's going to be leading the match and everything. I think it could be good, man. It could make almost a star, man, if they really worked on what they're going to do. It really, really would. It, it would make, make him a star. I, I can't wait to see the F five on Omos, though. Like it's oh man, you know. Nice. <laughs> oh man, oh it's going to be incredible. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, I think I think he I think he could do it. I, oh I yeah, think, yeah. With with probably relatives. I mean, he done it to the big show. Yeah. Even yeah. what in 2015? Uh huh. Like, he was in his four. I mean, he still did it. He did uh, Strowman. He yeah. got Mark Henry in 2015. Yeah, he can. That's it's gonna be the crazy. Probably be the biggest F five we've ever seen. Do you buy 400 pounds from Omos? Yeah. I don't. I, mean, I don't. I don't think he's four hundred, man. I. I think. I think he is. I think he's at least four hundred. Even they called. They said he was what four. What? At four four ten or something like that. I believe. Yeah. I think he could be four. I mean, dude, he's taller than Big Show. He needs what seven four, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Let me see. I mean, he's like Shaquille O'Neal height. Yeah. And yeah, he's he, muscular. He's, tall. he's not. He's not seven, like. Yeah, he's not tall and lanky. I mean, he's a big like dude, not just tall. He's a big dude. So he's seven three, and Shaq is seven one. Yeah, he's taller than Shaq. That's what I'm saying. Like he makes Shaq look small. But let me let me see what Shaq weight was. I don't believe Shaq was like four hundred though. But Shaq wasn't on muscle like this guy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, that's the closest comparison you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, not not that like not that he's just ripped out of the frame or nothing, but look at look at Strowman. Strowman's what, 350? 360? Uh, I see. mean now he's ripped those. Now to be fair, yeah. Strowman is like literally a brick wall, you know. But I mean this dude is like Yeah, Strowman Strowman like 350. Yeah, he, he, oh. yeah, he's gotta be, man. That dude's ripped, man. It's he's crazy ripped. I don't see I that's what I'm saying. I, I give I give Omos maybe three fifty. Hold on, let me let me look. Let me let me, I, let me look. He at can't it. be four hundred, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, let, let me let me relook. I might be tripping. <laughs> they, okay, four or three is, is what they got him listed at. I don't know, man. It's Online. like he's but dude, he's muscular though, and you know he ain't muscular. that muscular. <laughs> not, no, I mean not like that, but he is though. Look at him. Yeah, he, he he's a big guy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I mean that's what I'm saying. Muscle weighs more than like fat. If if he was if he was looking big like like Lesnar looks, just muscular uh-huh. and You're still his height, then I, I would I would say yeah, four hundred. Yeah, he'd be like four fifty. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like he'd be four fifty, man. I'm just all right. I mean, all right. So what? All right, maybe 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 three eighty. Okay. Or <laughs> I mean, but you got you got to think about it. Lesnar is what six three. He's six yeah. three. Yeah. Omos has over a foot on Lesnar. Yeah. Over a foot. He has <laughs> what three inches on Shaq? Three or four mm-hmm. inches on Shaq. Mm-hmm. Uh, what size is uh? Um, what I'm saying he had three inches on Shaq, and and you think he got like fifty more pounds on Shaq? Like, mass? He's got mass, bro. <laughs> I mean, then I, I guarantee, I guarantee, Shaq weighs more now than he did when he was playing. Well, yeah, probably so. Yeah, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But probably I mean, so. th- 
Shaq never was like. Shaq was never like ripped like that. I don't think. I mean, I could be mistaken. He was solid, um, like coming out of Orlando, like we played right. Yeah, Orlando Magic. That's what I'm thinking of. He was pretty solid. Like so, I mean, then maybe I'm tripping. Then I mean, but I don't know. It's just I don't know. I think I think it's some wrestling weight, man. They working. Think it's wrestling weight. All right, I'll give look. I'll give him three eighty. Let's say maybe they just packed on twenty. Or okay. 370, 370. We'll do 370. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, that's a big dude, man. Yeah, you can do. Big dude. That's, I mean, basically muscle. I mean, it's not just rip, you know, muscle stacked on muscle, super six pack, but mm. I mean, it's not like, you know, <laughs> I mean, this guy's in the gym and everything. I mean, it's a big dude. Yeah. I mean, I don't right. know. <laughs> oh, well, see, I, I, who do you think goes over in that match? Uh, well, just, well, just going by the, the 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 previous things that happened between these two, I'm gonna say Lesnar going over because yeah, Omos has won all battle so far. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean Lesnar would probably go over, but I think he would sell it like it was. Yeah, he barely got by. Yeah, I, I, th- also- I think it's gonna be some time and everything. Yeah. Yeah, if if they now, here's the thing: Do they do a series of matches with these two? That's possible. You know what I mean. So then, yeah. who? I feel if they do a series of matches with these guys, I really feel like Omos needs to win this one at Mania. Okay. Like I, he'd have to win this one at WrestleMania, and. Wasn't there a rumor that Brock Lesnar was thinking about kind of being done with this whole thing after, you know, like... Yeah, I heard his contract is coming up. I don't see any way, really. any reason for either party to, to split ways because what, what Brock going to do, go work every week? No, he's not. Yeah, I mean, he's making, <laughs> he's making a lot of money to do, right. like, a part-time schedule. Exactly. Compare, you know, and then uh, Roman's about to switch part-time, too. Yeah. Uh, or already really has, but it's mm-hmm. probably going to be more of a a Lesnar schedule after Mania. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I mean, unless he's just you know in pain or something, or got a you know injuries or want to do something else. I mean, I don't see a reason for him to do that. As long as he's, I'm, I'm sure he gets to pick who he wants to work with. Obviously. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he, he's got the pull. You know, I, I feel like bef- it, if it was before he goes, I would like to see. Him at least have a match with um, uh, Braun Breaker. Um, I, I believe that he's one of the okay. last people to have a match with. I, I wish Goldberg, before he his contract expired, would have had the match with Braun Breaker. I'm glad they let that expire. Don't 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 resign yeah. him. I mean, I'm not, all I, the, we needed one match. That's it. Just one. <laughs> Just one with him and Braun Breaker. And he put Braun Breaker over though. He had to yeah. put him over. He needs yeah. to. And that would have helped Braun with that match, and then the Lesnar match, and then it would have. Sta- then you have somebody else, right? Yeah. You built somebody, and I think that would have worked. I also wish they would give him his Steiner name. Uh, that would be really cool to have. Yeah. His- what? What? Why? Why didn't it? I don't know. I was, but I don't think the Steiners were, were they all on the same page with WWE when Braun first got in. I well, mean, I, I think they reached. You see what I'm saying? They yeah. might have just fixed that relationship, especially okay. with Scott. Mm-hmm. You know, that might have been something recent before he had already, you know, came in as Braun Breaker and they yeah. made the name and whatever was going but on. I mean, that. now they, they've been pointing to it and, and talking about it. Why not make him Steiner? Maybe, maybe they're going to save it for when he gets on the main roster and he's mm. like, you know, in NXT, I was Braun Breaker. But this is different. I'm on the main roster and I'm, you know, I've honed my skills and I feel like I can live up to the family name yeah. of Ron Steiner. Or yeah. or they could go full, you know, legit and go Braun Rex Steiner, which is the actual last name is Rex Steiner. So they might call him Braun Rex Steiner. Yeah. Um, you know, that that's something that they got. That could be a storyline. Basically, when he first comes up, if he's a baby face, it's about proving that he belongs in the main roster and can live up to the Steiner legacy. Okay. And it's a built-in story. It, you know? It, it, it's better than what he's doing now, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're, they're way, I mean, 
they could be waiting for to bring him up to the main roster. I mean, what yeah. else can we do in NXT? Right. He's two-time NXT champion. There's not really where's there to go. I mean, yeah. there's no really there's nowhere to go, man. The way that it's set up. So they're just yep. waiting to call him up, man. Yep. All right. This next match, we've got. Uh, it's, it's a three-on-three match. We've got Lita, Chris Stratus, Becky Lynch versus Damage Control. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like this because we're getting all six women in the ring. Yeah. Um, of course, this is going to end up being an, another uh, women's tag team match eventually um, because I'm pretty sure Damage Control will want their titles back. I don't think they're going to get them back, but... You think they don't win this match? Um, I can I can see the good guys going over here. Okay. That's well, I, I mean, I feel bad for Bailey, man. Why? Because she came back at SummerSlam, and I feel like they kind of she doesn't have the momentum that I I wanted for her coming into the new year from Royal Rumble to WrestleMania. And I mean, well, she needs a good victory, like another win, because she didn't get in the title picture this year. She didn't right. win the Rumble. Well, they're just using her to really, um, you know, boost up Dakota and, and EO. That's what I see, at least. Yeah, and, I mean, and once, I see that once they too. can get established, you know, I, then we'll see what they got for her. But, you know, I mean, that, that's part of being a superstar, being able to bring somebody else up. So, yeah, I, I just, we do it. I felt like that this was going to be like a moment for Bailey to have, right? Okay. Because even in NXT, I felt bad because she always was the last one of the horsewomen to get her moment. You're right. Right. Every right. time she was the last one, every single time. Mm-hmm. And you got this, uh, these other matches happening, which I felt like, I think maybe they brought Bailey back too early. If they would have brought her back later. She could have had the match with Bianca at um, WrestleMania instead. I feel like mm-hmm. she really needed that, you know, to have a win and, and have something like that going on. But anyway, that's just me. That's just my wishes for Bailey. I wish that they would have, like, treated her better throughout her return. Um, it was cool, but, I mean, I feel like they did the feud with uh, Bianca too early because there's mm-hmm. only so long you can wait until WrestleMania. Right. Now it's just kind of, you know, damage control, I feel like should have been in a better position, but it was too much time that's, okay. you know, passed between Mania and SummerSlam or SummerSlam and WrestleMania. Right. They yeah. Later. Yeah. yeah they, they've been pushing that since SummerSlam. So, yeah, it's, it's, you're right about that. It's been a while. It's, it's you know been a saying? while. Too, too much time has passed. Mm-hmm. And they kind of, they booked themselves in a corner with, feuding with Bianca too early because she couldn't win. Yeah. Right? Because she was going to hold it till Mania, so they should have backed it off mm-hmm. until now. Mm-hmm. And it could have made Bailey's heel group better by winning the championship at Mania. Okay. It would have solidified them as heels and it would have worked because we all know Bailey can do it. If yeah. you ever watched the pandemic era, absolutely. You no, know <laughs> she could do it. You absolutely. Know? So, I don't know. I'm just saying, I wish that Bailey would have had a a better run from SummerSlam up till now. I mean, this is a great match. I mean, you know, I just, I feel like they need a win, but mm-hmm. she needs some kind of win. She needs this win. That's okay. what I'm saying. Well, this next match, we're talking about Bianca. So we got Bianca versus Asuka for the Raw Women's title. Yeah. Um, this is the new look, Asuka. What, what were your thoughts on her first? Uh, Asuka? Yeah. This new uh, look and everything. I think that this is a, I believe this is a look that she had before, before well, it's uh, something like Japan, that, right? Yeah, it was in okay. Japan. Yeah, uh, it's definitely different. Um, I like Asuka. Uh, always have. I like her work. I think she works. She's a great wrestler um, in the women's division, and I feel like that she deserves the championship match. Um, I hope that she gets the main event one day, uh, WrestleMania. And um, I mean, I'm here for it. We know the match is gonna be good. Yeah. The build has been kind of like. Yeah, the know, build hasn't been, been that great. Yeah, I don't understand the build, but the match, which is, I'll be honest, in this case, is probably the most important. 
sometimes it's the story too but in this case the match needs to be mm-hmm. great and i mm-hmm. feel like it is i mean bianca's on a hot streak of wrestlemania matches i hope they don't ruin it they all need to be great the only thing is who do, do you think that do you think oscar's gonna come out as a champion or do you think that bianca's gonna retain and keep an undefeated streak at mania and drop it later well my hope and i, I hate to say it but my Ooh. hope is Careful. <laughs> Careful. i know what you're gonna say and I don't, I don't know if i'm ready to hear it <laughs> yeah um bianca drops the title but oh. i want great muda to come out with this match with the whole miss green miss thing i mm. think that would be mage and it'll help oscar mm. and, and kind of like pass the torch to her that kind of yeah. thing so th- that's what i'm hoping for at least that would be that would be very interesting because uh, it's been a lot of complaints on the internet just about bianca you know she's a female john cena all that kind of stuff we've been hearing that a lot <laughs> purple that is absolutely ridiculous they're not the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah, but yeah. I, I think i think people are just ready for something different but yeah i think this would be a good transition a good way to transition yeah they already got yeah. Muda going into the, the hall of fame you know perfect yeah you know let's, let's the match that. will be incredible <laughs> and you know it'll give bianca another storyline to do whether when it's like after she lost and she's trying to redeem herself yeah whatever the case is or even the hill turn right because we all know she was a great heel too, mm-hmm. um, Bianca. Because I can't really, wait for for her to be able to start using that that that, that hair. Great. <laughs> you, yeah, you remember that NXT show we went to the, yeah. when we first saw her. The first time we ever saw Bianca Belair was live, and we were Man. like, "What is happening?" Man. I mean, her and Ember, her and Ember Moon. I remember that. I thought it yeah. was legit. Yeah, those I'm shots were you. so stiff. <laughs> she started whipping you with them braids. Look, oh, that joke, that's real, yeah. son. <laughs> yeah, it was great, man. I'll never forget the the. the I, man, I love that match. I I was immediate fan that day we saw them. Immediately, mm-hmm. I was a fan of uh, Bianca Belair. Been a fan since. But yeah, yeah, yeah. she could do that. And I mean, she said you know before she had unfinished business in NXT, which she could go back there. And it could be like a whole, they could really, they could do a whole journey, start her over, and just she could win the NXT championship, get her confidence back, come to the main roster. But in this case, with confidence, it becomes a hill turn because she needs something new and fresh. Yep. And I think that, you know, that's the way to keep her from having that John Cena effect. One of the things with John Cena was the constant winning and like this, the baby face thing, even though, you know, he should have changed and became a heel and went through that course so yeah i feel like they can not make that same mistake with uh with uh bianca and she could do her heel run and i think it would be really good yep all right next match the usos defending the tag team titles against kevin owens and sammy Zayn. this is gonna be a banger i'm sure um i know sammy and ko they've got some stuff cooked up in their mind probably Usos always have bangers this is so. gonna steal the show <laughs> yeah this, this one's gonna steal the show i'm i'm, I'm with you <laughs> now the question is what they do with the titles after this but the, the, it's gonna be a hell of a match i mm, tell you that it's gonna be it's gonna be a spectacle yeah i i feel like this one's gonna be insane um insane (laughs) yeah but it's it's definitely gonna be wild man and i i really wish this would be the main event i feel like i feel like they deserve to main event night one you know we hadn't had like a tag team match main event wrestlemania for a long time man i don't wait has it well no not a a tag team championship match. oh yeah definitely not a tag team championship match Yeah. 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 We did have a tag team match, but not championship match. And yeah, I'm thinking like Hogan, Mr. T. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The first one was a tag team main event. That's right. Yeah. But, uh, no, this, I feel like the tag team championship belts, if there was ever a time to make the main event of WrestleMania, it would be now. They have never been as big in a story. Yeah. They are now currently, I feel like. Bro, this has been legit drama. Like, <laughs> like I'm really jumping up out my seat at home when they when they hug 
or or some, a, a big decision is made in this bloodline storyline like this has been soap opera tv for real it's been okay <laughs> i've it's been sammy, involved sammy zane sammy zane unbelievable yeah right unbelievable yeah I jay mean, uso like, everybody really <laughs> yeah, main event, speaking of which speaking of which <laughs> Here's another reason why I feel like they need to main event. Okay. Because when Roman eventually does his thing, he needs to say, Jay, I called you main event Uso, and you literally, I built you, and you made WrestleMania main event. Like, you Ooh. main event at WrestleMania because okay. of me. I like it. I named you main event Jey Uso and you became main event Jey Uso. Mm -hmm. None of this happens without me. I got mm -hmm. you there. And this is how you repay me when everything <laughs> spirals. And it's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you and know. I mean, he's living up to the name. Like, you know, it's not just the thing that you're calling yourself. He literally just named him that and he main events WrestleMania. I think that it's a missed opportunity if they don't do it. Mm. Sammy deserves to be in the main event. That's a way to get him in the main event without him being in the world title picture, so people don't boo it. But I feel like if they go with other matches over it, I feel like some people would be upset about it. Even though, don't get me wrong, the other ones deserve it. They really do. But this one, man, I mean, this story is next level, bro. Like, this is the pinnacle of bloodline drama, yes. and it needs to have the main event conclusion at WrestleMania. These yes. are the this the hottest thing that they have. The only thing that they have that's hot, the story. I mean, this story I is... Two years straight, bro. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to get this again. Yeah. You're yeah. not going to get this again. Not this good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got to, you, man. <laughs> I'm with you, man. So, But yeah, I think I think Kevin and Sammy go over. Um, yeah. What they're going to do with yeah. the titles after that, we'll see. I know the breakup is gonna be epic between Sammy and KO. I'm already looking forward to that. Oh boy, <laughs> nuclear! You, Cause you, he can't trust KO. No, no. Can't trust KO. I mean, this is gonna be fine for a few months to get this story out of the way, yeah. and KO is gonna KO. Yeah. Speaking you of, hey, be... you, you checked out the T-shirt, that, that new one, KO uh, and uh, the, the, the rest, the WrestleZamia. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. So good, man. It was yeah, really good church, <laughs> it is. The, re the reveal reminded me of, uh, like with uh, Zayn and uh, Jericho, kind of like where they were friends yeah. and doing their thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yep. it wasn't a spectacle like the Jericho thing, but it, it just kind of reminded me of it because I was like, oh. Zane, don't turn on him because he had that look. You know, he wasn't exactly. <laughs> I was like, oh, Lord, don't turn on him. Yep. But yeah. All right. Charlotte versus Rhea Ripley. Um, another Judgment Day member with the match. Yeah. Um, Rhea's been doing a thing once again, you know, with Dom. Yeah. I, she's red hot. I yep. see Charlotte as dropping the, the championship to, to Rhea. Rhea's way yeah. too hot right now right for yeah. them to to not give her this title and honestly i'm just looking listening to the crowd the crowd really wants to cheer Rhea. they, they really want to boo uh, charlotte yeah we always yeah. want to boo Char. charlotte does right. so good work as a heel um i i i love the little things like her walking into the ring somebody got got to open the ring uh, ropes for her. yeah the, the somebody rep. else got to yeah. take a robe off i love all of that I yeah <laughs> that is not baby face mentality yes <laughs> Yes. It's, no. Let's yeah, let's so. just let's just keep her heel, and um, let's just let uh, Rhea go over here. That, that's what I think. And yeah, you know the mat. You know the match is going to be good. Um, oh yeah. You know it's going to be good. I think this is Rhea's. Now see, here's my dilemma. Right, this is my dilemma here. I feel like the bloodline needs to main event. This WrestleMania, the night one, the Usos and, and KO and Sammy. But, man, Rhea's work, man, has been good. She won the, the Royal Rumble, and her performance was great. I was there. I remember it. And her main eventing, redemption for, um, what was it, uh, WrestleMania 36? Mm. I mean, it's just, you know, it's there, and... 
you know, she could win the main event. She deserves it, especially, you know, she wins it, and it's great, man. She had that whole Road to WrestleMania story, got the main event WrestleMania, and that's cool. And, you know, they always wanted Charlotte to have a singles uh, WrestleMania main event, so she'd get that too. Right. But, I mean, I know the match should be good, and the story's good, but, man, I'm, I'm torn, man, because this Bloodline stuff, man, needs to be the <laughs> It's like... Yeah. Both of these matches are good, but the story of the bloodline is ruling everything. I'm sorry, there ain't no match on this card that needs to be over that match. I mean, yeah. this thing rules the whole thing. Yeah, you, you, you were right. You're right. I know man. it's so hard, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> you're first, right. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, well, let's wrap this thing up with our main event, the match. Everybody wants to see Cody Rhodes challenging for the undisputed championship versus Roman Reigns. Yeah, Roman has been holding it down forever. Okay, <laughs> you yeah. bet against Roman Reigns, you're gonna lose normally. Yes, but, but I right hear is. Cody Rhodes is the, the odds on favorite here. Would you place a bet on Cody Rhodes? <laughs> yes, okay. Okay. Yes. I mean, you know, Roman, you know, you know, we have been dedicated bloodline, you know, Absolutely. loyalists here. We have, we have got on my bloodline them. shirt right now. We <laughs> threw the ones up, my G, for years. All right. Yes. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm still with it. But Cody, Cody has shocked us last year at, the, at WrestleMania uh, yeah. 38. Good. He came back and his mm -hmm. matches have been perfect. Action, yeah. and the story is there. His his Royal Rumble victory was great. I mean, it's his time, man. It's it's Cody's time. It's Cody's time. He's gonna run with this thing. I have no doubt that his matches this year, if they do everything, which is a layup mm -hmm. for WWE, if they just book him right this year, it should be a great year with him as champion. Roman's gonna take some time off. Probably because he's been going pretty hard for what yeah. two years. Yeah, well, well deserved for real. <laughs> yeah, I'm off. Yeah. Figure out if he's gonna go into Hollywood full time or whatever mm -hmm. he's gonna end up doing within the next year or so. Probably Hollywood. I mean, he's got a built-in career there, and yep. I mean, you know, I mean, we had the tribal chief man. We enjoy it, and he leaves on a high note. Mm -hmm. if, try, you know, he could do exactly what the Rock did: leave on the highest note. Of wrestling and get out when people are still, you know what I'm saying? And true, you know, he can always come back. Oh, yeah, but, you know, just you know, it's it's time, man, for him to drop the title, let somebody else run with this since he's on that schedule. And that way, he can be more free to do stuff. I, I feel like this year, Roman will probably do some resolute, like the full breakup of the bloodline, he'll probably feud with Jay and. Uh, they could have a match or whatever, and Jay might actually go over after mm -hmm. Roman drops the title, you know, and then Roman's out, and he'll probably then take a extended leave, I'm sure, and do whatever it is he needed to do, because, I mean, I think they're building up for him leaving anyway and, and getting some time off. But Yeah, I agree. I can see um, Cody going over, uh, Roman taking his time off for sure. Yeah. Um, do you think it's going to be a clean Win or or I mean, a Paul Swerve, <laughs> right? Right, like like Paul Paul Heyman getting involved or something like that because he he's oh, gonna be relevant, man. I believe, because I, I see that he came out with Solo um, on Raw, yeah. which I love. I, yeah. I think Solo needs something else. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, like, what do you think uh, is gonna happen with with Paul Heyman, and and how how do you think it's gonna transition? Um. That's a good question. I don't. That's a bold move to pull a swerve with Paul at WrestleMania. It would get it would get the probably a shock reaction, mm -hmm. but I don't know how good it would be long term right now. Like I think okay. it would be too soon. It needs to be gradual, right? Romans, I feel like he's got to drop the title at Mania, but after that, things need to start falling uh, apart slowly. Mm -hmm. Like he needs to lose everybody, like Cody said. But it needs to, they need to spread it out across the year, right? And by SummerSlam or Survivor Series, it needs to be full just meltdown. Like, there's nothing left. Like, it's all bad. 
I mean, yeah. well, what what if they do something like simple, like let's say you know Paul Heyman throws a chair in the ring, and you know Cody and gets Cody the chair gets instead, of, instead of instead yeah. of Roman, yeah. yeah and so it's not cause dissension. Yeah, so it's not really a swerve, but it's something you know behind the ref's back, and this is how we transition the title. Right. That yeah, <laughs> they could do something like that. Where I mean. Yeah, they could do that, but then I feel like, I mean, it, it might work with Cody still being a babyface, but I guess it wouldn't be a pure babyface situation anymore, right? And so, so it's important that Cody comes out this thing squeaky clean. Yeah, it's got to be clean. It needs okay. to be clean because of the story. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. You know, now after his win, I feel like it won't matter as much, but getting the win. For his dad doing the whole, you know, legacy storyline, it needs to be clean because he's a pure baby face right now. Mm -hmm. He's doing a pure, I mean, this dude's giving belts to children, right? He's giving <laughs> yeah. like the weight belts to kids. It has to be pure, yeah, he does. right? After this, it doesn't matter. But this, this win has to be clean. Like it needs to be no frills clean. Now, I do feel like with the bloodline breaking up eventually that's what we're building towards my only concern is solo because i don't think he's gonna do well just by himself now i feel like what would be good is if he kept paul Heyman as a manager yes. and they treated him like a umaga yeah yeah i i i liked when he had Sami Zayn with him that too. Um, but since since he they're not going to do that. that anymore yeah i mean he paul Heyman paul is, is just as good me and yeah. treat him like umaga and I feel yeah. like if he got if he gets the IC title off of Gunther and and Ooh. does the and does the IC title like Umaga did when Umaga was IC champ. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good person to transition yeah. the IC title too. Because he needs I, I redemption like that. now. Yeah, yeah, he needs redemption now because of his loss to Cody. Right. Right. He needs something. He was undefeated. He was a street champ. Yep. But he needs something. He needs a mouthpiece. And honestly, yep. Cody does not need Paul Heyman as a mouthpiece as a baby face. Yeah. If Paul Heyman was going to be with Cody, he needs to be American Nightmare Heel. Mm -hmm. And he really doesn't need him then. But I feel like Roman is going to be gone. Paul Heyman can still do things, but they need to get Solo over. And I know that they could. Yeah. And they, they could make him the next Umaga, and it would be great. You're right. It would be absolutely great. You're right. You're right. I can I can see this happening after Mania, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, you think Solo has any kind of involvement in the Roman match? That's that's another way you can. That could be that could be something else that they feud with. Yeah. Where Solo takes up for his brothers because while everybody knows that they're yeah. his brothers, they don't really talk about it, and he doesn't right. have the Uso name, mm -hmm. right? He wanted to be his own man. Yeah. But, you know, I think that that's where Roman finds out that Solo isn't just going to follow instructions without, you know, he's just going to follow blindly. He ain't going to do that. Like, mm -hmm. there's a chance where a tribal chief has to answer for his stuff. Yeah. And I think this is where Roman gets his cup up. It's not necessarily from Cody, but from his family. Because him losing to Cody is one thing. Okay. But his family breaking up and turning on him all together like that, right. that's a completely different thing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that would be pretty cool. And when Roman leaves or whatever they do, however it breaks up, if if Paul Heyman is thinking what I'm thinking, he stays with uh, Solo, because Solo needs a mouthpiece. Yes. He would be a monster heel like Umaga. Mm-hmm. And, they, and, and with Triple H running it, I feel like he could make sure that they don't treat like um, Solo the way they did at the end of Umaga's run, hmm. right? Keep it strong, but he actually makes it to like move up instead of them doing things to kind of kill the whole like monster heel unstoppable force situation. Right. Because they needed that. Like Umaga was great, man, in that, in that role he had. He was a beast. And yeah, they, they can do that with Solo. I 100% agree with that, man. Yeah. Like, Solo, Solo could definitely do that. Um, he's got the bill, he's got the look. Like, yeah, the music is interesting. <laughs> the win over in, in a, 
a win over Gunther for the IC title later this year, like at a SummerSlam, would be. I mean, the matchup. I'm I'm really just smiling. <laughs> Think about that yeah. matchup, bro. That, you know, I'm, I was. Yeah, I was talking about the triple threat. You know, but forget that. I just because I just thought about this idea when we were talking. That right there is even better. If he lost clean, he mm. loses to like a Umaga like uh, solo. Man, that match would rule. Yep. It would rule, and that win would be crazy. For sure. For sure. Okay. So, yeah, WrestleMania, two days this week, um, Saturday and Sunday. Check out SmackDown on Friday. Uh, is Stan and Deliver on, on Saturday, too? I believe so. Okay, that, I'm pretty sure that's going to be earlier on Sunday. Yeah, and Saturday. I think it is. Okay. Man, that's a lot. Of time it's a lot of wrestling, bro. Yes, it is. <laughs> but, Think about paying for that ticket to go to stand and deliver and then book it all the way over to SoFi to get in there and, and stay in there for WrestleMania, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, but you remember I done it uh in New Orleans. Yeah, but I did, I did. it was the one day, it was a one day WrestleMania though, right? For like eight or nine hours. It was a long one, yeah. Eight to <laughs> nine hours. It was it was one of the longest WrestleMania. I mean, people think it's five hours. It was not. <laughs> it was not five hours. That is a misconception. That's yeah. what you saw on TV. Right. It was not. They're early. <laughs> it's eight hours. Yeah. I mean, and then 35 basically broke them where they can no longer do one day WrestleManias. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that one clocked in like around the same time. I think they're both around that same mark. I mean, they're just insane. I, I think we're all glad for this change. The two nights is so much better. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's too damn long, bro. You know? <laughs> and right now, night one has been the reigning undisputed champion of WrestleManias thus far. Yeah. So far, night one for three yeah. WrestleManias that we've had has ruled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, You're right. So uh, you're 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 predicting the same again? Night I don't know. Be a better night. Well, well we had we had well no because a match we hadn't talked about John Cena and Austin Theory. That's gonna what main event the the first night, right? Uh, that, that's what they no. said at least. No, no. Uh, I thought that the Rhea and Charlotte match was main event. Oh, night. okay, okay, I got you. And so no, I think that one would be on night two, I believe. Okay. Um, but yeah, you've got or well, it might be on night one. I don't know, but. I, you've got that match, which, you know, I remember I was campaigning for this match all last year. If you remember, okay. Okay. I was the one that said that Theory, I felt bad for him. Theory needed this match mm. because he needed a feud that people cared about to get this guy over. If they were going to do something with him, he needs to have a feud about something, just something of value. And this is the mm-hmm. best way to get him over, I feel like. Okay. Now he needs to win it, but I, I mean, I, I don't think I don't think there's any worry that he's going to lose this match. <laughs> yeah, but the work that they did before this did not help Theory. Now, uh, yeah, me right. saying this was before all the stuff happened. Yeah, uh-huh. where you could still, you know what I mean? It, it was salvageable. I don't know if this. The, I I want I want Theory. I really want this guy to win. I feel bad for him. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. not talking about win this match. I mean, yeah, he's gonna win the match. I'm talking about win at like wrestling. Like, I want his okay. uh, career you. to be, you know, good. I feel like he got a, he didn't get a fair deal mm-hmm. with this whole thing. I think he was just in the middle of like a change, and it's just unfortunate. Well, it's a it's a pretty nice spot for him to to be going up against a, a legend like Cena. I mean, that that means yeah, it's they, huge. Yeah, that, that means that means something for him. Now know, the burial. Like, yeah. The burial in that promo did not help. <laughs> well, that's, I was, that's all Cena. <laughs> I, was, I was like, dude, are you trying to get this guy over or bury him? Like, which one is it? Because I, I mean, mean like that, that's all Cena. You you know, oh, you know how it is oh, with the promo. Man, it was brutal. I was like, oh man, what is this guy done backstage? He worked the rock the, the same way, so oh. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm pretty sure Rock was was upset during that promo. Like he really wanted to fling on him. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, it was nuclear. Oh well, yeah. man, you could you could tell, especially that SummerSlam match, you could see it. Yeah. Oh, you could see it. 
Oh, but so I, I, I guess that's that's the problem with unscripted promos, and that that's what we got right there. Yeah, so. I mean, <laughs> I feel bad for Theory, man. He was not ready, and that that's <laughs> dang, man. They got mm-hmm. they got Theory bad, man, on that one. Yep, I, I agree. I agree, but I hope he I hope he makes something out of it though. I mean, he's got a really good feud. If he wins it, that's great. And or you know, I mean, he should. I mean, it's just, it would be crazy not to have him go over, but. Um, you know, I, I'm glad at least that he's getting something, you know, that he needs it. So anyway, yep. Okay. All right. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for us this week, man. Um, check out WrestleMania, all the wrestling this week. Um, th- there's gonna be some more even indie cards, right? We got Ring of yeah. Honor or something like that this weekend too. Yeah, it's, I think so. Uh, isn't it, it's so much wrestling, bro. super card. <laughs> I think doesn't a I think AEW Impact does. I think the Impact's got Impact. something. So Impact has a show yeah. that they normally run. I believe AEW did last year. They had a show. Yeah. Um, in Dallas, I didn't get to go to, it and I should have. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, yeah, they 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 should have something there too, and also New Japan, I believe, probably will come. Over. Oh yeah, you're right. You know you're right about that. You know, yep. they'll they'll probably come over and do. I mean, there's there's a lot. House of Glory, mm-hmm. all those people, every all of them are probably have like a wrestling shows everywhere. So yep. it should be really cool. Oh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla, that's in California. I'm sure they may have. Um, is Pro Wrestling Gorilla still? They're still around, I've right? Heard of them? I never heard of them. <laughs> oh, it's, it's um, that's where a lot of like all the folks from Ring of Honor and and like the Young Bucks and all them. They used to, uh. Like they used to wrestle for Pro Wrestling Gorilla. I can't remember who owns it, but I know anyway. they, they had like Hollywood Wrestling or something like that out there at uh, LA Knight used to be a part of. Yeah, no, this one's different. This one, this is on. It's owned by one of the Young Bucks. Friend. I can't think of their name right now, but okay. Anyway, the, all of them, they all wrestled in that promotion, and I mean, almost everybody from the independents has been in Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Okay. So I'm pretty sure. I mean, they're California based, so right. I'd assume that they'd be running the show if they're still around. Oh yeah, been sure. years ago, but <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, well, hit that like button, hit the share button, subscribe, please, and we will see y'all another time. Peace. Remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at BS and Beer Media. Or if you're old and want to write a strongly written letter, email us, BS and Beer at iCloud.com. Hey.